Well, I just want to welcome you all to the first Metal Gear game to ever feature on my channel. Uh, this is also the very first unplanned series that I've ever done on my channel so far. I always thought that the first Metal Gear game that I would do um, as a YouTube walkthrough would be the very first Metal Gear Solid from the PlayStation 1. Uh, I had always planned on doing that at some stage as the first Metal Gear game and maybe work my way through. But, um, and I wasn't even going to do this. I actually bought this for my brother for his birthday and uh, he kindly volunteered to let me have it. So I could do a YouTube walkthrough for you guys and then get it back to him. The only caveat is that I've got maybe two days to get the entire game done, but fortunately it's only meant to last about six hours. So um, sit back, relax, throw your feet up and enjoy. No one really asked me to do this series, but I'm pretty sure there's got to be a few Metal Gear Solid fans uh, out there somewhere who's, uh, who have subscribed to my channel, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm going to make this first part maybe about a half hour in length, so this is Metal Gear Solid, by the way. You know, this is Metal Gear, so within the first half hour we might get the first cutscene cut out of the way. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, enjoy it. so far in just three short years. The sign of a strong leader, sir. No. The will of a strong people. <laughs> and one very able advisor. Thank you, sir. Your team deserves credit as well. Mr. Lightning Bolt. Just doing our job, Mr. Prime Minister. I must admit, I once thought of groups like yours as opportunists, enablers of war. But you've trained our new army well. Order has returned sooner than expected. Perhaps I was wrong about these private military companies. We prefer private security providers, sir. Most of Maverick's contracts do focus on security. Yes, well, the security can mean many things. There's a saying I like. One sword keeps another in the sheath. Sometimes the threat of violence alone is a deterrent. Sometimes by taking a life, others can be preserved. It's the code the samurai lived by. Hmm. A soldier and a philosopher. You are full of surprises, Mr. Lightning Bolt. I could say the same about you, Mr. Prime Minister. <clears throat> what is happening? Someone's blocking the lead vehicle. Hold on. Clear the road! This is official state business! Exit 
comes up unaffiliated. I'll notify all checkpoints. Get on money out of there. Yes, sir. Stay calm. He's got friends on our 12. Ryden. I'm on it. Guard the Prime Minister. Raiden is probably the one man who could wear high heels and I would not take the piss out of him for it. I'm like, hey, you wanna wear high heels? That's your own business, buddy. Uh, Alright, so that cutscene, it looked like that only lasted for a couple of minutes, maybe five minutes or so. That is definitely a first for a Metal Gear, for a Metal Gear game. Although, again, this isn't actually Metal Gear Solid, this is, you know, this is Metal Gear Rising. Oh, is he dead? Yeah, buddy. Hiya! I'll add the limo to your solid down radar. <laughs> that is how badass his high heels are. He just kicked a car in half. I kind of like this whole future where everybody in the entire world is a cyborg kind of a thing. Because right now it kind of makes me a little bit sad that the closest I will ever come to fighting a robot is wrestling with a vending machine. When, you know, like my can of coke gets stuck in it. When it doesn't just, it doesn't fully come out to me. <laughs> there's nothing, there's nothing harsher in life than when that happens. <laughs> I just, right, just took that car down with me for no reason. Um, so this game, it isn't actually developed by Konami, it was published by them, but uh, this is... I'm not even sure if this actually counts as part of the actual Metal Gear canon, you know, the actual storyline. Uh, like, it's a spin-off, and I think it's set about 3 or 4 years after Metal Gear Solid 4, so that's enough time frame that they can have a completely separate storyline, and uh, not really have to worry about, you know, things overlapping too much or making too much sense. But um, yeah, so I don't know if it's actually going to count. I think what happened was Hideo Kojima was actually so impressed with what these guys did with Metal Gear that he was actually willing to hand over the reins. And that's a that's a rare occurrence, considering Metal Gear made him as a game developer. I know he made other games, and uh, I'm a bit ashamed to say I've never played them. Or at least if I have, I wasn't aware of it. But uh, yeah, Metal Gear is definitely the game everyone knows him for, so... If you can't cut through the barricade, try the fence, eh? Ah, don't mind if I do. So it took a lot of trust for him to, to hand it over. Huh. 
So you're Jack. What do you want with the Prime Minister? I want him dead. Nothing personal, of course. Africa's just getting a bit too peaceful. What? Business ain't been the same since they shut down SOP. A clean break from the war economy. Huh. Well, some of us lack that economy. How's an honest warmonger supposed to make a living? This is your answer? <laughs> Don't do it! Don't worry now. I won't. Not while he's still useful. <sighs> so long. Oh, wow, we actually got to take down. We actually have to take on Metal Gear Ray this early in the game. Oh, all right, what? the game insists. They have a Metal Gear. Gear. Right. They got that UMP and get after. Ah, oh, he's gonna try and stomp me. Now, Metal Gear Ray. He's a really good Metal Gear model. I actually, I really do like the Ray model. But I have to say, my favorite Metal Gear, definitely the definitely Metal Gear Rex. You, you can't beat the original guy. You know, you just can't, you can't beat him. He was there first. Oh! Aha! Here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, although I know technically, did Metal Gear Solid actually start on the Game Boy? Or was it the SNES or something? I think Metal Gear Solid actually has been around since the first Metal Gear Solid on the uh, on the PlayStation 1. But uh, Metal Gear Rex is my favorite Metal Gear. Uh, leave me in the comments actually, let me know what your favorite Metal Gear is. Because um, I know a few people who like Ray, purely because Ray is an absolute beast and can probably mop the floor with Rex. Although, wait, no. Metal Gear Solid 4 answered that question, didn't it? When uh, Snake was in Rex and uh, Liquid was in a Wraith, and uh, Snake, I do believe, kicked the absolute shit out of him. That's because Rex is old school. Oh, there we go. Uh, also, if you are a Metal Gear Solid fan, if you've ever played any of the others, let you know what's your favorite Metal Gear game of the entire series. I've played and beat them all. Uh, all of them, and I've loved. I even love Metal Gear Solid 2. Um, I didn't even. I'm one of the few people as well who I didn't mind writing in Metal Gear Solid 2. I didn't hate him as a character, I just hated the fact that he replaced Snake. And I don't think any Metal Gear fan would be okay with that, you know? It's Snake. You, you don't you don't replace him. You know? Imagine if they replaced... Oh wait, no, they did replace Dante, didn't they? I was gonna say, what if they replaced Dante for Devil May Cry? But they, they went ahead and did that. Oh, here we go. Alright, got a really little the damage. So I played the tutorial for this, and I played the demo that was released. Other than that, this is kinda more or less blind. I saw a few bits from the, the Rad Brads playthrough, but uh, other than that, we're just going to have to see how it goes. I have to say though, it's a good game. This is a very good game. I was a bit worried that it was just going to be a, an average kind of hack and slash lazy spin-off of uh, basically just cashing for the Metal Gear name, but uh, I have to say, they did a brilliant job. It's really addictive. It's basically, imagine if uh, Devil May Cry and Metal Gear Solid hooked up one night. <laughs> they had a bit of a one night stand with each other. This is kind of, you know, this would be their love child. And that's a good one, a good looking baby. Alright then. I'm actually quite happy with how this fight against Mr. Ray is going so far. Oh Jesus, plasma cannon. Hello. Oh ah! Oops. Panicked. <laughs> it's the wrong buttons. Uh, never really good at quick time events, or button prompts. But um... Didn't the original Metal Gear Ray, he was able to fire, uh, but it was uh, compressed water, wasn't it? He? he really, like, condensed water. So that's basically like firing a big old knife or something. I prefer that to the plasma, if I'm being honest. There we go. There we go. My sword's better than yours, buddy. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice grindy action. I got a little rock music, actually. I mean, the thing when you add in a rock track like that is that it can be very, very cheesy. Oh man, I'm going to town on him. Oh, Raiden's going to town on him. Yeah, that's Dalek. Very good. But do not rest easy just yet, huh? See, the thing is, is I bet you after playing this game, a lot of people will suddenly be like, 
A lot of people will probably suddenly be like, oh hey, I like Raiden now, he's pretty badass. I actually liked Raiden since Metal Gear 2. Uh, like I said earlier, I just I didn't like the fact that he replaced Snake. I don't think anybody I don't think anybody appreciated that. As in like at the time for to replace Snake, he wasn't badass enough to replace Snake. Don't oh, mind if I do. Uh, let's see now, I've got a whole bunch of Metal Gear Solid questions for you. I think I already asked you what your favorite Metal Gear Solid game is and your favorite Metal Gear. Who's your favorite Metal Gear character other than Solid Snake slash Big Boss? To be honest with you, Big Boss I prefer over Solid Snake, mainly because he was the original Snake. But, um... Oh, hang on, do I have to cut through? Yeah, I gotta cut through. Alright, there we go. But, uh, who's your favorite character other than them? Mine is probably Resol Re Resolver. <laughs> he likes to resolve your problems. Now, Revolver asks a lot, mainly the guy from Metal Gear Solid 3. UG is a slang for ugly. Uh, just gonna slice and dice and then. Oh, it's filling up a plasma cannon. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, that could hurt. Oh! Alright, he really, really likes his plasma cannon. I know I cut off one of his arms, so I'm kind of limiting his, uh. Limiting his attack options a little bit, but still. Oh, headbutt! Most people don't really get back up after getting headbutt by, uh, <laughs> by Metal Gear Ray. Hang on, I just have to turn down my headset. There we go, just have to turn that down a little bit, because uh, that was incredibly loud. Right then. Can I slice his head off, or is this just... Oh, we're just slicing the casing off. Oh well. <laughs> there we go. He doesn't feel half as pretty anymore. There we go. It's basically just like kicking off his makeup. Ow. <laughs> he got his head stuck in the building. If anything, that's just very embarrassing for him. Alright, uh, building up another cannon attack, maybe. Oh, arm attack! Oh man! Oh shit! Oh man! Yeah, once that one, once that first one hit me, it was kind of that was it. It was a write-off from that point on. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Rockets! Rockets! Falling from the sky! Not good! Not good! Uh, but yeah, favorite Metal Gear character. Mine's definitely Revolver Ocelot. I like Revolver Ocelot in all the games, but Revolver Ocelot, particularly from Metal Gear 3, but Metal Gear 3 Snake Eater was my favorite game of the entire, of the lot of them. That was just, it ticked all the boxes. It was everything you want a Metal Gear game to be. And a little bit more. Uh, it was actually the Metal Gear that I gave the most time to, uh, in that I did, do you know the way you could do the stamina kills and all the bosses, and then you got your custom camouflage and their weapons and everything like that. I played through the whole game and got stamina kills on all of them. Well, actually, I played through the game and killed them regularly at first, and then I played through it again to get the stamina kills. And uh, I love that game every bit as much the uh, second time around as I did the first. That is how much I love that game. I actually, I bought the HD collection, so I have Metal Gear... I think Metal Gear 2, 3, and Peace Walker. Oh, shit. <laughs> nice. To be fair, Snake could never pull any of this stuff off. Uh, I guess we're slicing his other arm off, why not? Makes him match, makes him more balanced. <laughs> That's just me. He's an unarmed man. Good night- oh! oh. <laughs> I was gonna say good night, Rain. Ooh. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, plasma. Oh, no. I was doing so well until that plasma beam. <laughs> I was doing well until I died. Alright, he can't have much left in him, though. He's very much on the way out. Oh, thank God I gave a checkpoint, at least. Okay. hope there aren't too many more of these little building running <laughs> sections in the game. It's going to be a bit tricky. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, we got him. Oh, here we go. I bet you, yeah, I knew it. He was going to run down his spine. Saw it coming. Yeah, I'll take a B. I'm not proud. B is okay.
<laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a cyborg. This seems to have all the fun. He's headed for the front of the train. After him. I'm gonna go ahead and assume, as far as I know. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna comment on the plot. Yeah, what are the chances we're gonna have to fight that? But uh, I know, like, speculations about the plot. I've been keeping myself in the dark intentionally, so I won't say anything. Prime Minister. Huh. Too little, too late, hero. I won't be needing my little seal here any longer. Things war has done for us. Why don't we ever hear speeches about that? Jobs, technology, a common purpose. Uh. Raiden, forget me. Stop him. You ain't listening. In? All we're saying, give war a chance! No! Alright, I'm about to get my ass handed to me and I know it. <laughs> this guy's too main of a character to, to die right here at the beginning. Yeah! Oh man! Alright, at least if I can get in a few hits on him. Oh, block something at least. Oh, I'm hoping this fight's meant to... Self-taught. And not half bad. Still. Your yeah, Raiden's not winning this fight. Not a not a hope in hell. Oh god, right across the stomach. If I wasn't a cyborg, that would have disemboweled me. Alright. I'm just <laughs> I'm reasonably happy with my ability to block his attacks at least, but I'm not landing anything.
I just noticed Raiden's blood is red in this, whereas in Metal Gear Solid 4, hang on, we can get him. Whereas in Metal Gear Solid 4, it was white, wasn't it? It was like a milky kind of a substance. Ah, come on, I can still take you. It's just a flesh wound. Ow. It's just, you're just, I just, I just like to even the playing field. That's all I did. Come on, I can still take you. Just stop moving. This is what happens when you bring a tool to a sword fight. It's over. <laughs> Lucky devil. <laughs> You know, that guy fired his machine gun a bit wildly, considering <laughs> considering Raiden was dangling off the train, Sam was quite close to him. So there was a good chance he was going to hit Raiden as much as the other guy. Ah, confidence in his aim. Anyways, chapter combat ranks S and B. For a super badass, I like to think. Alright, bonus BP. Alright, let's just keep on going then. That was guard duty, that was the kind of first chapter. But uh, it was more so just an intro. Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Oh, 4,000. Nice. Ah, oh, well, okay, I thought that was going to go a lot quicker, so now I just let an awkward silence set in onto my video. <laughs> awkward. safely to Varich. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Right. Can you hear me, Raiden? Doctor. Remember the two procedures to maintain your new body. One, seizing nano repair units from your foes. And two, absorbing their electrolytes. I got it. Yes, enemy sidewalks should provide plenty of MCFC electrolytes once you slice them open and uh, extract their fluids. They're terrorists. I was planning on that anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me? The combat data stored on holographic memory, typically located in the left hand. That data is very valuable. <clears throat> I am authorized to offer you upgrades and services in exchange for it. How generous. Ich liebe Kapitalismus. Had the world come down a few years earlier, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see land. Three mic out, closing. 
No activity at the airbase. Looks like we don't need to worry about interceptors. Great. Then we have time for a quick briefing. I know you miss me, Cap, but I've been all over the materials. <laughs> That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just humor me, buddy. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the terrorists, and restore the rightful government, or what's left of it anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta's been established. The terrorists brain-jacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Andrei Dolsev, leader of the occupation forces, an extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. And his armed supplier, none other than Desperado Enforcement LLC. Oh. Imani's killers. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. But our more immediate problem is Jetstream Sand. I believe you've met. <sighs> The only problem I see is that nickname. I've got my enhancements this time. He won't be an issue. He may not even be in country, but keep an eye out, Justin. Oh, uh, sorry. Ready for insertion. <laughs>